Good morning, Cheetahs. Welcome to the South Greenville Cheetah Spot. This is Mrs. Tedder with your morning announcements. Today is Tuesday. November 3rd, 2015. Again, today is Tuesday, November 3rd, 2015. Today is our 51st day in school. We've been in school for 51 days. Please stand while we say the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and recite the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, cheetahs. You may be seated. After you've made it to your seat, we're going to pause for a moment of silence. All right, teachers, now it's time for a uniform check. Boys' shirts need to be tucked in at all times. Shirt colors are white, navy blue, black, gold, or yellow. Pants, shorts, and skirts should be khaki, black, or navy blue. Shoes should be tied at all times. No coats or hoodies are allowed in the building unless you have a uniform-approved sweater or jacket, which has no hoodie and no logo. At this time, we're going to review our South Greenville Elementary expectations for PBIS. Number one, repeat after me. I will be prepared. Number two, I will always be respectful. Number three, I will work hard. And number four, I will be safe. Remember, these are our pause expectations, and you are expected to meet these daily. Thursday night from 5 to 7 p.m., please come out to Pizza Bingo. Come out and eat pizza and play bingo to help the PTA raise money for our school. All right, so today's sentence is similar to yesterday's sentence. The leaves are red and orange. So we have our article, the, and leaves, the article, like the little pre-word to our sentence, leaves is our subject, are, and here's where we do something different because we have two words that they are, kind of like a list, and we have the word and in between, so we make what this looks kind of like a fork here, so they are red and orange, and that's how you diagram a sentence with and. So something your teachers may have showed you in your classrooms, if you are in kindergarten or first grade, you will see this poster called Give Me Five. And when a teacher says Give Me Five, this means that your legs are crossed, your hands are still, your ears are listening, your eyes are watching, and your lips are zipped, which means you're quiet. So when the teacher asks Give Me Five, you quietly raise your hand and give them five fingers so that they know that you know you're doing what you should be. And you're being a positive example for others around you. For second through fifth grade, give me five means eyes on the speaker, that you're quiet, you're going to be still, your hands are free, which means that you've put everything down and you're not touching or playing with things, and that you're ready to listen. So, be on the lookout for your teachers to say, give me five, and give them five and show them the right way that things should be done at South Greenville. Be a positive example for others around you. Happy birthday today to Mrs. Hartley. Woohoo! Happy birthday!